Hey guys, today I'm going to be doing another slow cooker meal, which is another one that I've done with you guys. It's from the Southern Living Big Book of Slow Cooking. I will leave this book linked below if I can. Um, and I'll try to find the recipe and link it as well if I can. I can't remember if I could last time or not. But it's it's called Smokehouse Chicken Stew, Chicken and Vegetable Stew. But we do it with pork because that's what we already have smoked. Because Jeff had smoked um, a lot of Boston butt a while. But actually, he did some and I did some while he was at work. We're going to do it again though because... We are on our last bit today, so that's going to have to be done again. So what we're probably going to do is whenever he's on the next shift that he'll have to be on is, since I can't lift anything, we have a Boston butt, so he could put it on before he goes to work. I could do all the things that need to be done during the day, and then Noah could take it off whenever that it needs to be taken off. That way I don't have to lift anything. And um, we could do it a group effort, a family effort to make some yummy food. So anyway, um, I'm going to get the camera down here, show you what I'm doing. I'm going to have all the vegetables already cut up and everything like that. I'm just going to kind of just put it in the pot and show you what it is. And we're going to enjoy a delicious meal tonight. So I'll be right back. Okay, so now we're going to make this yumminess. I got the onion and the bell pepper cut up. That's the only thing I had to cut up. Now, the recipe actually calls for you to buy the kind that's already cut up in the, like, produce section. You can do that, but we just never do. All right, so we're going to get this going, and we're going to pretend that this is one cup of chicken broth. It's not chicken broth yet, but it will be because I'm going to put some of my chicken base in there. But I'm going to wait until after I get my dry ingredients put in before I put that in. So we'll pretend that that's it right now. A half a cup of sweet and spicy barbecue sauce. This is sweet and smoky, but it does have a little bit of spice in it. This is really good, but it's got cayenne pepper in it. So I'm going to put that in there. And, um... I'm using my little, my, I'm using my, I'm not using a liquid measure, measuring cup, because I don't have a smaller one, I don't have like a one cup one, and I just didn't want to deal with getting the big one out, because one, I would have to reach up, and I forgot to get Jeff to get it for me, because all the things that... I have to reach for or something like that he got out for me in the crock pot or slow cooker whatever you want to call that thing you can call it whatever you want I'm not gonna fuss at you either way so the barbecue sauce and then it says to put in I'm gonna put the barbecue sauce back up so I don't forget what I'm doing I might try to put it in again one and a quarter cup of bell pepper which I just put one good size bell pepper in there. But remember, they're trying to get you to get the, well, they're not trying to get you. They're just giving you shortcuts of getting the already cut up bell pepper. But it does say tricolor, but we only have green right now, so that's what we're using. Um, one cup of frozen baby limas. Oh, I didn't get my scissors. There they are. I have them with a magnet thing on the refrigerator. So, they're very easy to get to. Put those that right there. So, one cup of these. Get out of there. I'll put those in the Ziploc bag, put them back in the refrigerator. And then, two tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce. We're just going to... We should shower it. We love it. It's okay. It's probably a little bit more, but we don't mind that. Put that back in the refrigerator so I don't have to think about that anymore. One half teaspoon of salt. One half teaspoon of pepper. 
Now here's where I'm going to come into the, the part that it's not going to be exactly right and I'm hoping that it's going to be okay. I thought that I still had a big bag because you're supposed to have two pounds of smoked. It says chicken, but I'm using this. Um, I, I don't have any more. I thought I did. We put it in the refrigerator to thaw it, but we're just going to let this, this is just going to have to be enough, you know, that's just what we're going to have to do. I think it'll be fine. I don't think there'll be any issues with it being too small of amount or something, you know. I think we'll be okay with it. Okay, so now, one 26 ounce jar of fire roasted tomato and garlic pasta sauce. Now, I have never had the fire roasted um, kind. I've never, you know, I didn't go buy a special kind. So, I'm just using marinara because that's what I have. I'm gonna put a little bit of water in this. This is only 24 ounces. But I'm gonna put a little bit of water, maybe an ounce or so, just to get all the rest of that yummy out. And I had actually bought this for that uh, lazy lasagna because I didn't put enough sauce in those whenever I made them. But um, that's okay, I'll get another one. One 16 ounce package of frozen mixed vegetables. Um, they only had, well, no, they had the other size. I got the 32 ounce size so that I could use, I could do this twice. Now, I know I don't have any more meat right now, but that's okay. I'll get, I'll make some more. And, um, I'll have the lima beans and the mixed vegetables already. And I'll just stick these two things in a bag by themselves in the freezer so I know what they are. And then the onion, I'm going to stick that in there. I cannot remember if this is what I got for a Christmas gift from the Christmas swap from Shasta or if I bought that somewhere I cannot remember but for some reason I want to say Shasta that was in the stuff Shasta gave me um either way I love it I love silicone things y'all the other day I had well before my surgery I had to throw one away because somehow it had gotten messed up and the metal was kind of um showing because you know it's got metal on the inside and I was afraid that bacteria would get inside since it was open or whatever i don't know how that it got cut but i was sad but that's okay i went to the dollar tree and got me another one because it was one of the um little ones all right so now i got all that in there and i'm stirring it around a little bit but there is one more thing i need to put in here because remember i was supposed to have chicken broth well i don't have chicken broth but i have the chicken bouillon stuff and i have water so that's what I'm using instead. Y'all thought I was going to forget it, didn't you? No, you didn't think that. I know you didn't because it's here still. If and, I, and if I had used it, I would have put it away most likely. So that's why I put things away. So I know I used it and I don't forget things. All right. So start around a little bit. And there's supper in the pot. All I got to do is let it. It says cook it for um, eight hours. But honestly, you don't have to. You just cook it until your vegetables are done and in five or six hours we've eaten it before because the meat's already cooked it's just the other part but this will be so good in a while for us to have for dinner i'll show it to you later though if i had not cut up my own vegetables and i was not recording it might have taken me five minutes to throw this together five or so minutes no time at all really and even talking to y'all it only took seven minutes and um, I even walked around and moved stuff, and now I'm just talking. All right, so I'll start together. I'm going to make sure there's none stuck to the sides. And remember, there is liquid in there, so it will get a little bit more liquidy, but it's also a stew. Like the vegetables release liquid and stuff. It's also a stew, so it's going to be thick. And y'all, it already smells good. All right. I'll be right back because I'm going to talk to y'all about something. Okay, so I'm still in the kitchen um, because I just put all that stuff away and cleaned up my mess, threw away the garbage and cleaned up my mess. And I'm about to fill this up because I need some more water. I still have some in there, but I'm going to fill it on up and um, things like that. So I've already gone somewhere today and come back home. I went to the place, the 
the water authority for the water down at where we're moving to and where our mobile home is and um got my water turned on or our water <laughs> i got that done today um they're going to come out monday and drop the meter and we will have water but we won't actually have water at the house yet we got to dig a trench and put pipe in and all that stuff but today jeff and i are going back to bucks to see if we can find just some of the stuff if they don't have the stuff we'll go to lowe's or home depot or something to get what we need but of course we're always going to go to bucks to get it for the cheaper price if they have it but i'm excited we're one step closer we really needed the water turned on for doing the um like whenever we paint and stuff to wash our brushes and all those things so i'm really excited and i wanted to tell y'all we got the water turned on there we go what was that i don't know it's excitement but if we do get anything from bucks i will show that to you too and i'm gonna try to take my camera in and show y'all the store now i don't know if they're gonna allow me to do it but i'm gonna ask to see so um Y'all might get to see that today. I don't know yet. But I know that there's only three. There's two in Mississippi and there's the one here. They need to have these stores everywhere. They really do. Because this is an awesome store that can save you lots and lots of money if you're remodeling or just anything. But anyways, I wanted to tell y'all that because I'm so excited. But I left this morning before I had my breakfast. So I'm about to have this and have some coffee. All I've had was some water. And I'm going to have some coffee and I'm going to sit down and edit a video. Maybe two if I can get this planner video so it shouldn't take long. But anyways, I'm excited and I wanted to tell y'all. And I know this meal is something I've done with y'all before, but some of you might not have seen it. And also some of you might have forgotten about it. So we're doing it again. And it's an easy, easy meal. If you already have, like, if you have frozen onions and bell peppers... You don't even have to cut the things up. You just throw it all in the pot and let it go. It is so good, too. And you can buy the smoked pork or chicken. If you don't eat pork, you can buy smoked chicken or if you can't have pork. And it is just delicious. And this is something that you could throw it all together in a freezer bag and put it in the freezer, like, in, like make up a bunch of batches, stick it in the freezer, have freezer meals. So I'm just hitting stuff over here. I got so excited about getting my water, our water turned on. But um, you can do it as freezer meals and throw it together and just one bag, throw it in the pot, turn it on before you go to work or just before you do anything else that day. It's a delicious meal. And y'all, with us, because we live in Alabama, and the temperature, like today, I don't have my phone over here, so I really don't know what temperature it is. Hold on, I'll tell you. Okay, so right now it's like 64, and the high is 72. And I know a lot of places, y'all still have snow. But what I was saying is, for us, if we want stew, soup, chili, all those things that most people associate with cold weather, we either eat it once or twice throughout the year, like when it's cold because it's not cold very much or very long and sometimes it might be cold one day and not the next we either eat it once or twice or we just eat it all year long and we just eat it all year long we're not a cold weather food person we don't have a certain time that we eat certain things that's just the way we do and i don't i mean not every family does that i know there's a lot of families that don't um they just only eat certain things at certain times like even like what they would consider a Thanksgiving meal, they won't eat it any other time of the year, we will. We don't care. Food is food for whenever we are desiring to have it. So we just do that. And we eat ice cream in the cold weather too. <laughs> so I, I, I'm not saying you're wrong for doing it however you do it. I'm just saying do whatever you want to do. That's what I'm saying. Do it how you want to do it, what makes you happy and what makes your family fed. <laughs> what makes them nourished and um this has a lot of vegetables in it so and in fact it's mostly vegetables except that one meat and some sauces so yeah it's delicious too so that's what i was going to say and i will be back probably whenever we go to bucks i hope they will let me film if they don't 
then I'll just show y'all what we get if we get anything at all. And if we don't get anything, I'll let you know that and I'll show you the end result of this. So I'll be back. Okay, so I got permission to record in here and this is the power tool area and they have all different brands, like lots of different ones. You never know what they're gonna have, but everything here is half price, except certain days, things are more than half price. Like right now, the lighting is still 75% off, but there's just like tons of stuff. But I kinda wanna show y'all how big the store is. Like over that way, it goes from that wall all the way back, and we'll show you all the way back, but all the way over to that wall. So I'm gonna show y'all a little bit of each section. I'm not gonna just show you like every single thing, but just wanted to show y'all that. They have some brands we've never heard of before, and they have a lot of brands that we know. So you never know what's gonna be here though. This little area which is not really little, it goes a long ways. That's like pet care, pet stuff, um, mostly. But they do have some tools at the end. And over here is like all sorts of brooms and dustpans and squeegees and all kinds of cleaning things. Then over here is where, well, there's more brooms and things like that at the end of them. But over here is where the plumbing starts and there's one, two, three, four, four or five aisles of plumbing things. And like I said, you don't ever know what they're gonna have, but they have tons of different kinds of faucets and things, like that one and like y'all saw those. This is not usually over here, but that's okay. They have things that are not normally in, you know, they just got them in different places, but they have like the sump pumps and hot water heaters. They have bathtubs. They have laundry sinks, bathroom sinks. <laughs> and there's, oh, they didn't have that last time we were here, which we don't need it, but a vanity and sink top. And they have lighting everywhere because they have a, an abundance of it. I think it's why it's 75% off still. And that's a double sink for a kitchen. They have several of those. They've been, they've had several of those lots of times. Are you gonna look at the, if see if they have, still have that shower floor thing? We're thinking about doing just a different thing with Noah's bathroom, the shower. That's a wheel tank right there, which is not something you normally see. Tons of range hoods. They just have tons of stuff. Like I said, this place is huge. Like this, this is $50 for this. It's nice. I'm also probably gonna have to put music with this while I'm talking to y'all because of the music they're playing in the store. So that I won't get copyright claims, but this is another one of the aisles but I think the rest of the store I think I'll just play music and kind of just show you stuff and um, maybe put it on screen or something that way I don't have to worry about copyright claims
comes around If I get my feet on the ground And make Bonnie my wife And we'd rob this old town Maybe take all that money Get a boat and sail down, down Where the blue, blue waters flow Yes, this is a place I would go We might get ourselves lost We may never be found If ever that day comes around
turns in a spin again And my heart won't let me begin To see I've got nothing to win So this is going to be the end of the plumbing, which is not even half the store, half of this one aisle. And then it gets into like electrical stuff all the way back, which part of it's lighting. But I'll show you some more. Not 
gonna go down this one because just a bunch of lighting but it's lighting on these two and it was a little bit on the other one that I showed you that's like thermostats and stuff and then more lighting here and then it's on the back wall and then all over the place up here all are happy to be out in the ending of the night welcome of the dawn the nights are turning colder Soon the falling of the frost Soon the summer will be over You feel the change is closer at the welcome of the dawn The trees they are singing To the tune of a song
George and Harry, John and Jerry, gonna have ourselves a show. I heard it said so long ago. I'll be said by that in I'll be said by that in
guys, some of that was just pictures. Some of it was just, you know, music because their music was really loud today. I don't remember being that loud before. Or maybe I just didn't pay attention because before I wasn't filming. Um, but I didn't show you everything. We were running out of time. I couldn't show you the whole store, but it's huge. But we did get a few things, and I'm going to show those to you. Um, and I hope that gave you an idea of how huge Bucks is. But we did get a few things. Now, two of them I'm not going to show you because we're leaving them on the truck, I think. Aren't we leaving them on the truck? Nope, he, put them, he took them off the truck. It's PVC pipe. I think you probably saw them in the cart whenever I was looking around. But anyway, I'm going to show you this stuff, and um, then I'll show you supper because it's done. Okay, so the first thing we got is this water hose for down there at the mobile home. It was less than $25 for this one. I think that's a good price. Isn't it a good price, Jeffrey? It should be, or else we would, he wouldn't have gotten it. Anyway, we got that, and we got two of these. We need one more of these um, drawer slides. We have three, and if we're going to have six drawers in the kitchen, we need one more, but they didn't have any more. These were $3.25 each, and we got some... Um, plumbing stuff. This was two dollars for a uh, cutoff valve. This was fifty cent. This is a reducer. It was seventy-five cent. This was forty some cent. Um, I don't know how much this was. It has no price. We don't know. This is another one of those. That was fifty cent. And this is a T. It was fifty cent. How much was that? I don't think she charged the same as this. Oh, she probably charged the same as this, I think. I don't know. Anyway, it was cheaper than um, than Lowe's because certain things you can check the prices from Lowe's. What is it? I already did those. All right, so I had talked about the screen door. Um, I think I know that I had responded to someone's comment that we may get different, we may just change the screen door or we may do something different well what we decided to do was just get some metal hinges because there was a lot of reviews saying that the hinges broke on that one because they were plastic so we found this it was um let's see be about eight dollars or so that's not right we have around eight dollars for the three hinges and the doorknob and it's got a little lock thing in there but that the door has one of those but um I like this doorknob better anyway. So we gra grab this, and then this is something I was really excited about. is the water pipe heater uh, tape stuff. Um, you can't. It does have it to where you can attach more than one. We just got the nine foot. They had different sizes. We just got the nine foot one because Jeff said that's probably what we would need. But um, this was ten, say seven, say. About thirteen dollars, fourteen. I don't know. My brain's not braining right now. So anyway, we got that and the pipe. So I'm gonna wash my hands before I show you all the food because I just touched all this stuff. So let me do that real quick. Okay. So I have not started up yet. Well, I did start earlier, but I haven't started since just now. Um. Anyway, this is what it looks like. So yummy and it smells so good in this house. It has smelled good all day long. But that's what the smokehouse vegetable, well, it's supposed to be chicken and vegetable, but it's pork and vegetable for us, stew looks like. And it makes about half a crock pot. And that was about two pounds, Jeff said, of that pork. So we might have been putting more than what we needed to in before. I don't know. I think we did add, add extra vegetables before or something. But we're going to have supper. And... Well, first we got to get the thing cleaned off, but I just turned this off. I'm going to unplug it, but we're about to have supper, but before that, I'll tell y'all. Bye. Okay, so I came in here where it's quieter because Jeff's going to get the table cleaned off and get that pot onto the table because I can't lift it. <laughs> but I hope that y'all liked the books part. I hope it wasn't too weird. And... <laughs> I hope it works out, honestly, because I don't know how it's going to work out. But I did ask for, for permission to go in there, to record in there. And they said, we can't stop you from recording. I was like, well, I want to be polite and ask anyway. But that's what we got today. We didn't get much. We just got some things for the water stuff. We still have to get some stuff, like pipe and stuff. But they only had two pieces of the PVC. But the PVC pipe was 
like less than half price, less than what it was at Lowe's. So we went ahead and grabbed all we could, which was two. <laughs> so we'll have to go back and get more stuff. Probably tomorrow after Jeff gets off work, we'll go to Lowe's or something. And that way, whenever we go back down there, which will be the next day, we'll have it. And I don't know if they're going to, they're probably not going to do anything then because the water won't even be, uh, the meter won't even be down yet. But that is all I have for today. I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, go ahead and hit the like button. If you like my channel, go ahead and subscribe. Hit the bell so you're notified whenever I upload. Share this with a friend if you think they like my channel. I do all sorts of things on here. And I try to say that in, you know, not every video. I probably should because some people may subscribe. And then they may watch my next video and it might be something completely different. They'll be like, wow, that's weird. I do weird. <laughs> I do all sorts of things on here. It's just about all the things we're doing in our lives. And it's never the same, really. I mean, yeah, it might be me cooking or cleaning, which not right now. I'm not getting to do much cleaning at all. I did wipe the sink down in here because I didn't have to bend over to do it. And Jeff got me the stuff to do it with. <laughs> I needed to do something to make myself feel better, but <laughs> to feel useful. <laughs> I, I, I'm okay. I'm not like upset about things but anyway where was I going with all that I don't know see that's me weird but um yeah we do all kind of stuff we're doing the mobile home stuff after we're done with the mobile home stuff I don't know what we'll be doing probably the land stuff <laughs> but it's just everything just our lives that's what happens on this channel so if you think somebody'd like this crazy deal and not the bad kind of crazy word of the good kind of crazy then go ahead and share this with them most importantly leave me a comment down below let me know how you're doing and remember don't take any wooden nickels and be sweet